Hello, 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 my beautiful Light Seekers people. Oh my god, can you believe it? It is Saturday morning. It is 8 o'clock. My girlfriend's been at work for probably three hours already, so I decided, you know what? I'm gonna wake up. I'm gonna play some Light Seekers for everyone. Scrub Kid subscribed to Tier 1. Scrub Kid, thank you. Thank you. I have honestly no idea if that actually affects my sub goal. If it does not, I'll have to actually manually change it, because I think, I think I just literally put the follower goal into the sub goal. Thunderfin salute and chat for Scrub Kid. Thank you very much for that sub. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to actually update that manually. How hysterical. Scrub Kid just spamming those emotes now. Awesome. Uh, and I don't know how. Oh, can I not do it live? I don't think I can do it live. I will have to change this after I'm done then. Okay. Uh, so yeah, don't don't mind that 16. Apparently I'm at 18 now. I don't know if someone subbed outside of it. Scrub Kid with the double, double salutes. Awesome. We are just, we're starting off so good. And we've, oh my word. You're, like, it's left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand. It's awesome. It's awesome. I'm loving that. So welcome. Welcome to the stream today, guys. Uh, as many of you hopefully saw on my uh, Twitter, uh, Facebook, on Discord, Twitch sent out a an awesome email saying, hey, you know, we're trying to help affiliates. We've heard what you guys wanted to do uh, to help support your communities for, you know, streamers who obviously aren't, um, well, my work here is done. <laughs> He's like, I'm out. Peace. Uh, that uh, Twitch is like, hey, you know, affiliates are the, are the real, like, kind of the growth of the Twitch community. It's not just the partners. We want to help the uh, affiliates grow a little more, too. So what they're doing is, like, every month, yeah, uh, you've got to hit a certain tier. And I'm sure that uh, over a while, like, after this whole thing is up, uh, you won't have to hit it, like, that month specifically. It's just that, like, hey, if you reach this time, we'll open up more slots as you get to that part. Uh, and I got that yesterday while I was at work, and I read it, and was like, oh, my God, that's awesome. And then I quickly went on my phone, and I was like, wait, I already have the second month slot open because of you guys. You guys were awesome enough to be able to subscribe to my channel um, and open up that second slot. So I immediately got home. Uh, had to remove the tier 2 and tier 3 subs because apparently I couldn't just move them up to tier 1 I have to like remove them and then re-upload them, which was super dumb. So the hopper is working I got an email like at 6 o'clock this morning say that it was finally approved You guys I'm happy to see everyone now gets to use the Thunderfin salute and the hopper For you for my, for my lovely followers out there who support me, who want to have some fun with me, that's for you guys. Uh, the next goal is for next month. It just said sometime in um, March. If you get 25 subs, you'll open up a third slot. I was like, all right, I'll put a goal down there. I'm not going to tell anyone to sub. It's got to be like, you know, it's only if you want to. I'm not going to demand you sub. I'm like, hey, sub, I got to get this goal. It's all up to you. All up to you. If you guys love me, I love you back more. You know, that's how it is. Wait, two hoppers is a bad idea? <laughs> it's true, they cancel each other out. What are you doing laying two? It's gotta be that one significant one. Um, so yeah, that's that's the news for this morning. I thought it was really cool that I got it uploaded and approved like right before my channel. Um, so yeah, uh, also, some other things to do today. Um, just to you know, help promote new streamers as well. Bovasaur's wife... Uh, Seeker Lifesaver went live yesterday. If you guys weren't able to check that out, please go check that out. She did an amazing. I was watching it while I was having breakfast. Uh, I followed her channel. Me and my girlfriend had a date last night, so unfortunately I wasn't able to catch her live. But I will be adding her to my auto host list so we can show her some love. Uh, oh, maybe she's got to be live for me to add her. Oh, yeah. Uh, pick a live channel. Okay. So I can't add her yet. Yeah, she, she was having an awesome time. Her, her layout was made by her amazing husband, Bovasaur001, who is in channel right now. So everyone, if you want to either give a hopper or a salute now that you have choices to Bovasaur for doing an amazing job on her layout. It, it looked really awesome when it was fully put together. He showed me the picture of just the base layout. Hey, that's you. That is you. That is you doing shoutouts live. How do you, do you feel like a celebrity yet? Because you should. You should get yourself a, a nice little dress and go on the go on the town. Um, but yeah, he did an awesome job with that layout, made it look really nostalgic to the, uh, Light Seeker's original playmat, a lot of really cool details, he showed me the image of it, um, Life you're, you're awesome, that's for you, that's for you, you're awesome, 
Um, but yeah, it was it was really cool. I saw it, like, obviously the base light before he put in the subs and all the titles and whatnot. And I was like, dude, this looks amazing. You did a really good job in the art. And his only response was, yeah, my wife said she wanted it, so my OCD kicked into overdrive and I worked on it all last night. And I was like, that's amazing for you, man. Good job. Good job. So please go check them out. They're awesome. Um, of course, all the other streamers out there starting, currently doing it, check everyone out. I'm not saying just stick with me. If you come to me, I will push you to every other streamer that I can find or hear about out there. So that everyone in this community can grow as a whole because that's how we that's how we succeed. We succeed together or we die alone. Because Lost is not one of my top five shows of all time. Just saying. So with that being said, everybody, they came out with a new campaign this week after the Valentine's Day that we crushed, mind you, with our Asavat God. Oh, praise to the Lord Spider Queen. Um, they came out with a new campaign that I think I think we should just jump right in. Creeble Dating 101. 101. Welp, I needed this love. Scrub Kid, love's your way too, man. Love is your love is going your way too. Creeble Dating. Now, from what I understand, you actually don't have to make your own deck. Bulbasaur, if, it, if it's not if it's not amazing deck titles, we can count on you for amazing song quotes as well. All you need is love. Dun, 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 dun. All you need is love. I'm a terrible singer. Please do not record that. It's on Twitch, so it's auto-recorded anyway. I did it to myself. We can all agree with that. Uh, but everyone, would everyone like to hold hands with me, perform our Valentine's Day ritual, and go on a mass first date? Are we okay with that? Would you like to join me on my first blind date with a Kreeble? I think that would just be a really good experience. Just like, ten of us sit down at a table and this one fire speaker's on the other side be like, Okay, when I signed up for this, I know it was like a group photo that you took at like a prom and you wanted to say, Hey, you know, I look really good in this dress. But seriously, I can't choose which one I'm actually here to date if there's like nine of you all together. It's really hard to determine that. Anyone else have that in like, on Tinder or dating service when like, Hey, there's like a group of uh, girls like, Five or six, because I have yet, I don't, I don't know the guy side, I don't know if guys post like, yeah, we took a brophy, and there's like six of us, choose which one of us you would think is hotter and agree to talk to us. I don't know, because I haven't looked on the guy side. But I know for a fact there's several girls that I'm like, okay, there's like four of you in the photo, I have no, I have no idea which one it is. So that's what we're doing here. I'm not a bad singer. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. I'm definitely not one to do karaoke, unless it's like one in the morning and I've had several shots. But... I have a certain, like, three-note range I can hit, and if I try to go out of that, my voice just cracks, and I sound like a 15-year-old at puberty. <laughs> so, guys, let's let's mass date. Let's do this Tinder thing. He selected yes to us. We're going to show him exactly what he's in for. So let's go. Let's go, shall we? <clears throat> it's, your first, it's your first date as a Kreeble. The Kreeble dater is to woo you with their lovely chat-up lines and terrible dating strategy. Be ready to counter their moves with your own. Guys, I've been I've been practicing the Cupid Shuffle. I've been practicing my one-two step. All of the traditional wedding dances, I've been practicing it just to show him my moves. You can't possibly woo all of us. Another Anon, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Is that is that really what they do? Secret lifesaver. Is that to to get the cheerleader effect? You don't want to overcommit to a creeble date, you might get gestured. Eh, Bulbasaur, I think you're just in here for those amazing one-liners. Like, that is, that's like 90% of your talent on Twitch. Not to mention, like, your amazing deck plays. That's the other 10%. But the stuff you don't see when you're not live is the stuff that you bring to everyone else's channel. That just boosts, boosts viewership for everyone else. You're just like, alright, I have a book I've written for five years of things to say at opportune times. This is my moment. This is where I shine. And it's... It's coming in loud and clear, and I approve. I very much approve of it. All right, guys. We don't get to choose our deck because we get our own deck. We're a potion master. Well, we're going into this. Either that means we have an open tab and we're fading a lot of drinks, or we brought ourselves something to get out of the first date if it goes bad, if you know what I mean. So we're nature. Okay. If your deck is empty, move your discard pile to your deck. That, I wish, was a real ability. That would be awesome. Yeah, I've never had the Creeble one for five... Yeah, I've had the Creeble one for five years. I knew it! I knew it. You actually worked for pre-play fusion and, like, made all these races in your head and then because 
you would not sign like an NDA or uh, um, uh, legality clause. They let you go and then had to wait a few years before you like forgot about it and then stole your family ideas. I knew you were the original creator, Boba Sora. I saw it. I can see it in your writing. All right, these are not normal cards. Let's just let's just take a look at some of these. Next song, please. If you have no cards in hand, draw eight cards. What? That needs to be a real card right now and then get nerfed down to like two. It says, if you deck on... If... If you... Which which card? On my hero card? Rocket Star, did you replay this campaign and just like also have a notepad of... Of all your grammar errors? If anyone is in play of I think Delzo one is in chat. I saw him give a Thunderfin salute right away. If you're in here, man... How could, how'd you let this slide? How'd you let this slide? I didn't notice it. I was having fun. But someone did. And they're gonna... That's that's where the comments on Discord be like, Oh, you missed a... You missed a... An R there. Shocking. I know, right? If you deck is empty. So, it, I also have to ask. Is there such thing as a U deck? Maybe, maybe it's not an error and it's actually the title of a deck. Maybe... Maybe this deck is titled U. Like, since it's not actually a, a deck made by us, it's not a title. The title of this deck is actually named you. Therefore, if you deck, if this deck is empty, maybe that's actually what it is. It's not a typo error. It's it's something where we have to learn it on ourselves to make it seem like Playfusion intentionally put it in there. Oh, you just read it when I clicked on it? Uh, Bob Sora, play the next song, please, card. The turn before the buff triggers that makes you put all your cards back. Oh, that's tricky. That's that's ingenious. All right, we have a ready retort, which basically just said, say, Bovasaur. Uh, if I received eight or more damage from a single hit since your last turn ended, deal five damage to your hero and heal for seven. What? If that if that does not scream Bova's one-liners, I don't know what does. Uh, I will have to admit, I don't think Bova has this amazing white facial hair. Uh, give it time, though. Give it time. I, will, I feel like by Gen Con, you should be able to grow this um, and then just paint your skin green. So, we'll get you a nice leather robe, too. And you can go around as the witty retort. It'll be perfect. Not impressed. Uh, deals with show-offs. So I'm assuming the Cream Dater has a card called show-off. And we'll just do that. Um, Brown Thief, normal card. Tree Sprout, now normal after the nerf. Stump Drift Shaman. Okay, okay. Bobasaur says, sure. Oh, man. Now I honestly seriously can't wait. I just got my ticket for Gen Con uh, this past weekend, so... I'm in. I will see all of your pretty faces there if you're going. Alright, so what does he do? If your deck is empty, move your discard pile. Okay, so we have we have the same... Okay, maybe he's also playing with you deck. Maybe both of our decks are just you and you since it's a date. You know, it's a date. So it's us. If it's... If this, is, this is us. You and you. It's really, really emotional. Um, I think I want to let Tree Sprout to draw some cards, just see what's going on, and then I'll pass. And then I'll pass. Now that we've made all these amazing one-liners, now that we've discussed the thematic of the game, let's play it. Let's just play it. Let's have some fun. Bad chat-up line. Man, if that does not deal eight damage to my face, I don't know what does. Uh... So the way to retort is for the bad chat-up lines. I get it. I get it. They don't speak proper English. See, see, see? If Bova is not here for explanations... I mean, he's here for a lot of other things, but that's just one of the key notes. So, the witty retort is clearly for the chat up lines, which is awesome. Very awesome. Um, obviously, this is a one-up deck. Should have a red lining around it. If you bring this back next year... Jot that on the note. It should have a, a red aura. I know there's a lot of cards currently right now that don't have that red aura to let you know that when it's activated. But, uh... Get on it. Get on it. Playing that difficult card proper now. That's ingenious. Um, maybe I just stump your Shaman and pass? No, maybe I actually... Maybe I save it, because these Winter Retorts almost seem better to save than a Stump Drift Shaman for the Fungal Spores. 
So maybe I just save it and I pass. Root Singer's awesome. And an Insect Swarm. Alright guys, now we have the pestering that we need. This is great. Another six. Man, this guy does not play around, huh? I don't need to save my hand. Okay. Well, there it is. Um, I feel like insects swarming here. And then maybe just slump your shaman also. Oh, is he really? Well, I guess, yeah, Creeple Jester. You are exactly correct. Okay, either he has like six of those in the deck, or he has been amazing at drawing cards. What is happening? Alright, I have clearly not been chatting this guy up with my witty retorts. I can't do that, it's not from a single hit. Um, I think doing this is, is the better solution. My whole hand? What? No. No. That's, that's improper dating. He should at least leave me a way to like, ask for the check and be like, alright, I'm out. This was fun while it lasted, but no, sorry. You know what I mean? Like that's just that's rude. That's that that feels that makes me feel like I'm I'm not safe here. Uh, this could be bad. I might want to keep some of those fun stuff, but with Bulbasaur's inside knowledge, but like, no, 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 you just lose the whole thing. Makes me really terrified of what's possible going to happen. Okay, okay. Going to take some fourteen to the face. There was no direct damaging cards, was there? Other than Witty Retort. Ah, oh, bummer. Maybe I'll just do this and Root Singer it back. Along with maybe a Tree Sprout. Uh, uh, no, I'll bring that back. I'll bring that back. We'll see what we have. If he doesn't heal... That's, it's a pseudo heal. I'll give him that. So I'm legitimately gonna put him on one. And then do I also just root singer again to get the cards like that back? Seems good to me. Did we just blow this guy out of the water? Wow. We could be dead. Nope. Well, guys, we win with a witty retort. We win the only way we know how. Oh, that's so upsetting. <laughs> I wanted to win with Bova as my wingman, but it couldn't happen. It couldn't happen. We went to a really disgusting restaurant. There were flies all over the plate, and I had to leave before Bova could, you know, give us a proper send-off. Dell said, wow, mine was so much harder. Well, I mean... Coming from a man who's been on a lot of bad, really bad first dates, I just wanted to get out of there really quick, really fast. Didn't want to show him any kind of courtesy at all. Give him no second chances. He was he was throwing things in my face. I was like, you know what? I'm going to walk in and legitimately say, hey, my name is Razor Greshu. Can I get the check, please? And then we'll just talk and see how long that lasts. And it took you two tries. Did you draw a fine lash and not get it removed? Because that really helped. I will say, that really helped. Uh... <laughs> True love. Alright, I guess it only takes two dates. Two dates for Kreebles and you're in. You're solid. Things are getting serious now. You'll need to get your opponent into the right state of conf state to confess your love and live happily ever after. This kind of also feels like a Kreeble creepiness to me. You'll have to get them in the right state. Not the right mood, but the right state. Like drunk? We talking? Cause, I mean, we've all had those nights where we got drunk and confessed our love to people and then the next morning re-asked what their first name was. Scrub Kid, you're on this one? Let's try it out together then, guys. Let's try it out. Ooh. I'm very excited about this. The, the, oh, the Love Shy Creeble. 
What are all of these? Okay, hold on. Confi there is a ring! Guys, do we have to win by proposing? That's gonna make me feel not uncomfortable at all. My girlfriend's gonna watch this and go, uh, excuse me, what did you just do? No, 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 it was, it was just a children's card game. It was just a children's card game. I better not get a gaudy ring like this. If your deck is empty... Oh, that one is a your. That one is a your. Is empty. Move your discard pile to the deck. Can only be won over by confessing love. Okay, okay. Uh, if your deck is empty, move your discard pile to your deck. Okay, okay. Uh, romance. Corners one to three. When your enemy plays an attack action card, rotate this one step forward. Corner four. Ready for love. When your enemy plays an action card, restart this buff. So do I have to try and attack them to get them to corner four and then use the ready for love? Maybe? We'll we'll take a look at the other cards before we divulge this. The atmosphere. Oh, I have to I have to legitimately set hold on, I just want to read the the mood. Oh! Oh, this one makes me so happy. You have to, you have to set the mood. You have to set the atmosphere. And then you have to set the romance before you can confess and be ready for love. This is ingenious. I am so in love with this one. Oh my god. I haven't even read what the other two do and I'm already sold on it. This is amazing. When you defend. Okay, so I gotta defend. Ready for love. When your enemy plays a defend card, restart this buff. Okay. And this has gotta be buffs, right? Uh, this buff only rotates if you have 15 or less health. So I just, I have to, I have to just start punching them in the face. Right? I gotta get them below 15 before they're set in the mood. Like, that's, that's almost a terrible way to start a relationship. Not almost. That is a terrible way to start a relationship. Um, is to be really physical with your, with your significant other. Please don't do that. I do not condone violence in any way, shape, or form. But this one literally just says, this buff rotates if they have 15 or less health. So it's like, hey, honey. Are you ready for love? Do you love me yet? Come on. What am I doing wrong here? Uh, ready for love. If you have... If you have 15 or less health, restart this buff. So I legitimately have to time it perfectly. Okay. Okay. Confess love. If the recipient is completely ready for love, win the game. Oh, win their heart. Not just the game. Win their heart. Okay. Okay. Did I see what his ability did? Move it back. And mine is the same one. Okay. I, I did take a look at that. Flood Zapper. Deal two damage to your target at the start of the turn if they have four or more buffs in play. Um, <laughs> they are Kreebles. Who knows how they actually show love. That's true. That's true. They do look like a uh, a very, like a goblin sort of society, where they like they enjoy throwing each other around and showing masculinity and their dominance to everyone. So I can, like, I feel like I want to flood zapper, and just wait for a fourth buff to come down. Um, to slowly just tick them down by two. So this one is, oh no, there's no reason for me to buff. I just have to attack and defend, right? So if I lay a buff, nothing rotates. It's just attack and defend cards. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so maybe I do this, seeing as how that does nothing right now, and we'll draw. We have it out there just in case for something other reasons. But right now, I, I kind of want to see, okay, fourth buff comes down. Sure. Sure. So no damage is done. No damage is done. I think I want to defend. That's another defend card, though. I think I'll still want to pass. This this is legitimately going to take a lot of brain power to just decipher like exactly how this is all going to go down, right? Okay. Okay. So, if I'm Marauder, it's another defend card. And then I can attack them and rotate that one. But it won't deal as much damage, which maybe I'm okay with. Because as soon as this gets below 15, this starts ticking away. And I feel like that's the one that I want to line up to almost rotate last. I haven't seen a whole lot of healing out of him, but that doesn't mean he doesn't have healing. Um, so maybe I do. Maybe I actually just, like, do this first so I don't just hurt myself for six for no reason. And then I do this.
and then I let this thing slowly take him down away after I get these all set up. Never mind, there is heal. I was wrong. Everything is bad. But th th this consistent damage is going to be what's really good. I bet Confused Shaman is in the deck. That's interesting. I bet it probably is. You're, I'm, you're probably right. Uh, and I don't want to lay another buff. I, I could lay another attack card. Um, but right now, I don't know if I want to with those being so close. Like, I, I legitimately just want to pass and draw more cards. Because I don't know... I could... Okay, I could lay two Flood Zappers. And really just get him down. But I only have one more attack card. I really... I need... I need two. Right? Well, that's rude. The unexpected Chrono Moth. What is going on here? Okay, so... I mean, he's going to return buffs. Which is sad. Because I wanted to lay my other Flood Zapper this turn. Um, I mean, he's he's just going to do a lot of damage. So I kind of want to save my defend cards for when I need to, if it's going to rotate these. Or I need to time it with the end of Repair Bot. Possibly. Um. Ooh, do, hmm. I mean, yeah, he's got Repair Bot out, so Spark Wisp is not doing me anything. I think I just pass again. Like, I, I almost at this point, I have to figure out what's all in these decks before I can start getting a plan. And with the abilities to reshuffle your discard pile back into your deck is not a bad one. It's, it's just going to take a while. But, yeah, it's it's just like, what do I do here? I, I, I think I have a sound strategy for the most part. I mean, and either way, it's going to heal for five next turn. I'm just, I'm trying to get these lined up. Okay, the Flood Zapper, I believe, is where my, my most damage to come down and do that is. Okay, perfect. So now, now I honestly think that I'm in a, I'm in a fairly good state. Maybe not. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, so I need one attack and one defend to be at the end of those two. But this one has not even started rotating yet because he's not anywhere below 15. And I'm going to take a chunk of damage next turn. Like, a uh, good chunk. Ooh, do I do I have to Vitalizing Frog and set this on its final corner and then per try and not defend the entire game? Maybe just so I don't get blown out by bombing. He is tech. I do have to realize that he is tech and could just be ridiculous. Okay, okay, so he's above 20. The, fl the This is going to be awesome. Like a Dancing Flutterer for six. Which will get this to rotate once. And then I basically just have to have the Flood Zapper do like the rest of the work the entire game. So. Yeah. Flood Zapper. Like I just. I, oh, the Liver Crab is a. You monkey. How dare you. I almost had you. Uh, Safety Crab is healing without it being a defense, so that's actually really good. This is, this is not a location, right? This is a this is a little pond. This is just a little pond, right? Yeah, it's it's a, it's a beast. The beast is zapping you. That's all. Is this fifteen or less? Okay, so this will start rotating now. Or is it? Because it, it doesn't say at the start of your turn. So, I think actually all the buffs are going to rotate. Oh, but no, the buffs still would go in order, right? This would rotate, and then this would heal for one. So, okay. Okay. According to my logic, I'm still okay. Man, I'm holding a lot of really good healing cards. Yep, alright, I was right. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So now he's going to take two. You will street the start. Salvi B, how long is it going, man? Uh, I can't stay long, but I wanted to come through and say hi. Hey, thanks, man. Thank you very much for stopping in, checking out the channel. Uh, I, th I think I just do nothing, right? I just... 
If I can keep him below f the the health right now with my flood zapper. Okay. Okay. I do nothing. Uh Salvi B, this is actually the new campaign they came out with, so this is an entirely made deck for us to use. We didn't make this at all. It's a campaign deck. So next turn, I just have to not die, right? Because this will rotate. And I mean, he's tech. He could have 12 damage in hand. Oh! Did we win first try again? Did we do it again? Okay. Okay. Or does he have to be below 15, too? No, he's just ready for love. He's just... He's ready for it. He is put in the mood. Oh, guys. We are so good at confessing our love. We are so good at telling everyone about how we feel. Whoo! First try. Oh, and... Is this a special card back? So that's how you get a mate. Exactly. That is how... If you're single, everyone, if you're single... Boom! A new campaign for us to do, eventually. Oh, I'm super happy. I haven't got one of those in a long time. And, oh, no, I already have that mat. I was going to say, and a new mat. A new booster pack. Whoop, whoop. Awesome. Awesome. Let's just... Hold on, we got a new card back. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. He is already... I think we're going to use this. I think we're going to use that. That's, that's deserving of our love. Oh, it's so beautiful in the background, too. So we did that one. A Whisper in the Wind, I believe, we've already done. Uh, oh, Abominux Layer. I mean, I, I did do a Legend of Arcmoss. I just pulled it again, so it's, that's why it's reset. Abominux Layer is two. Okay, okay. We will we will set a time to come back and do that eventually. Maybe like on a Monday or Wednesday stream when we don't have six hours to play. Uh, so right now, guys. Right now. That's how you find a date. That's how you... That's how... You apparently appropriately approach a Kreeble and get them to fall in love with you. Uh, I can only imagine that's how all of you are going to find love in the future. Um, Bova and Secret Lifesaver, I'm I'm only guessing that's how your either first date or engagement date went when you proposed. Is that um, there was just a lot of fighting, uh, a lot of health loss, and then a ring came out and you had you just you were set in the right mood. And now you have a darling baby girl. So congratulations to you guys. We figured out how you did it. And now everyone else can go out there and do it themselves. Yeah, Wrangle, that's what you're doing wrong when you're dating, man. That's what you're doing wrong. You gotta go out there. Uh, preferably, I, I would assume with Kreebles, like either just a sack of potatoes to your, to your date where you plan on proposing. Uh, and just really get them in the mood. Really get them in the mood. Do not hit their hands, because if you swell up a finger, it's going to be impossible to get that ring on, though. So, remember that. Uh, as a disclaimer, I do not condone violence in any shape, way, or form. It was a roller coaster ride of a proposal. Oh, I can only imagine. Did you actually go on a roller coaster to really up that ante? Did you go on a roller coaster and, like, you're strapped in with me now. You can't go anywhere. And then, like, you popped out the ring as the ride went down, and she's like, hey, this is going to be really awkward if you say no now. I guess you got to say yes. So... That would be an also just a dream way to propose to someone. Like, as soon as they're strapped down into a roller coaster, we're like, all right, honey, I got one thing to say before we start. There's no running away. Will you marry me? <laughs> She's like, what? Ah! Oh, that'd be great. I would I would laugh so hard. If you really, like, you almost have to glue the ring box to your hand so you don't lose it, because that's just, if you lose that on the roller coaster, you just, you messed up entirely. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, for editing purposes, I'll be back in 30 seconds. Catch me one sec.